We are back. Stomping Grounds TCG, Las Vegas. Well, we got stomped so far. The uh, first five cases have not been kind. We're gonna do four out of these last five cases, I think, saving the last four whatever. That case number 21 will presumably go to something else. Get the last four cases as I have a little bit of time before I go fly 8,000 miles halfway across the world. So let's get to cracking. And I mean, fingers crossed, let's just do better than last time. I got a little cocky with an early start, thinking that pulling a couple of extended art cold foils was good. Let's not get cocky and let's just stick to the cards. I'll save that last one for something else and it'll be these four. One, two, three, four, right there. Good luck to us, viewers, good luck to us. guys case 17 first case of the video i just uh hate being that tinfoil hat guy but again this is the first box one box out of four we have the uh two heralds two heralds were out for a two herald box we have a cold full common piece of equipment not very valuable i keep seeing the correlation between the heralds you know getting multiple heralds and bad pulls so i think herald Extended art takes one of the significant slots. We'll keep seeing. All right, we're back again. Last pack of box three. Of all things, we pull the Soul Bound Resolve. So that's last pack of box three. So far, just three common cold foils, really crappy. Extended art herald, so the herald thing is correct. It seems like you get two heralds if you get two heralds in a box. That sucks, and um, yeah, this I think is $23, so this is gonna be a very low value case unless this puts out. All right, let's see. All right, case one down, and oh my God, I gotta say, these Solana streets are rough. Like I said, uh, once you get to five or six Heralds, it seems problematic for other pulls because it seems like the Herald inhabits the slot of non-foil legendary Levia and non-foil legendary crown of providence and you get one more of these and it feels that you're gonna pull bad you get less of these like four or less and it feels like you got a shot you get five or six feels like you're done a little bit of saving grace here not to say that there's anything that good going on but more majestics five ten fifteen twenty 25 Majestics, 29 total Majestics, and 28 of them are, call it not so good Majestics. So 28 times 1.5 is $42. Call this four and a half, four dollars. So that's 46 bucks. We've got two angels, that's $54 at $4 a piece. $54, $61, Lawson thought is seven bucks. Surgical, I think is 11, so that's $72 and warmongers diplomacy we got the top three so 72 that's 98 dollars so far just in non-foils we got trolled again we're trying to look for extended art widespreads but these are two rainbow foil not extended arts but this is for good for like call it 30 bucks so that's what is it 98 plus 30 128 got trolled again Radiant View, Radiant Ryman, Radiant Flow. Beautiful cards, beautiful cold foils, but all four cold foils, four out of four cold foils are all commons. So that kind of sucks. We're at what? 128, 136, and Soulbound Resolve. 22, $23. That brings us to um, 158, 159 for a case. We're kicking things off despite pulling the top Majestics, two Angels, extra Majestics. What is that, 29? That is 35 Majestics. That is almost averaging nine Majestics per box and extra Heralds. The top end is really, really poor. Uh, let's see what else comes out of this little four, four pack of cases. Um, not feeling really good. 
getting a little tired of pulling one out of tens. Getting stumped by stomping around TCG. All right, let's see. All right, case two, AKA case 18 overall, box two, pack four, Iron Song versus Rainbow Foil. Um, at least this is a little more value. Hopefully we can uh, navigate this case into something better than the last one. One out of 10 isn't gonna work. Okay, box two, pack 19. Grimoire of the Hunt. Again, I think this is $25 or so. It's a Majestic Cold Foil. There's the M, Majestic Cold Foil. Better than nothing. Um, I guess I'll take what I can get. A little discouraging. Last case being a one out of 10. Uh, well, we're halfway there. Let's see what else we can get. Wow, finally, box four. Case 18, pack one, Crown of Providence. Oh, that's a relief. Get a little bit of value in that last slot. Can't catch an extended art for my life. Can't catch a fabled. Haven't seen a Marvel in four cases. Oh, well, I'll take it. This takes us out of one out of 10 territory, I guess. All right, is this our last hit? We're at the end, towards the end. Pack 16 or so of box four, Bastion of Unity, Majestic. $10 bill. Hey, better than a common. What can I say? All right, here we are. Case two of the video down. What do we have here? As stated, five or more of these heralds usually result in a bad box or a bad case. We have uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 23 total non foil majestics. Two of them are heralds. We have six foil majestics. So let's see where we're at. Financially, I think that's four bucks, 21, let's call it 32 bucks, 36 bucks. Here, these are four bucks a piece, 44 bucks, five each, 74 bucks. These are three a piece, 80, 105, 115, 175, 38 bucks. That's 210, 75, 213 dollars. Guess what? We are. I'd say like in 4 out of 10 territory. Hey, it beats 1 out of 10, right guys? It's still an improvement. I mean, it's still very, very uh, discouraging that I had 4 cases in a row of no Marvels. Um, forget about the big, big hits, but not even a Marvel Angel. But um, that's variance, and I've historically got bad variance. Let's see if we could bust the slump in the next case. Alright, we're back. Case 19, third case of the video. Box one, pack three, legendary, Diadem of Dream State. Of course, I've mentioned this already, but I think this is likely gonna be underpriced. I, I just can't see a legendary, illusionist legendary, being worth $16 for a long time. So, um, still, it's a hit, hit's a hit, it's an L. Let's move on. Oh man, same box, I think pack 14. I didn't get a chance because it didn't see it poke out, but my God. What a sight for sore eyes. I've gotten this already, but Avalon's, that's our Fabled Hunter's spoiler card. It is great to get her as a hit. I mean, I haven't pulled one of these in five cases, so even if it's a repeat, I'm, I'm happy for it. That's, that's a hit, that's a solid hit. Case 19, second to last case, finally got a Marvel again. All right, 10 packs then to our last box of case number 19, Spold Skull, EA Cold Foil. That's a Majestic I like. I haven't pulled it yet at all. I think this is the first time in 20 cases, so really happy to pull it. I don't think it's worth very much value-wise, but that is still cool. It's still a pretty card. All right, case three of the video complete. Case 19 overall, we are almost there. Okay, let's do a quick review. Seems uh, my little Herald theory might have been debunked. I don't know, it's just a theory. We're still testing. Two pairs, protection and uh, war tune. What else? Uh, we got five, 10, 15, 20, 24 non-foil M's. We've got seven foil M's for 31. It's pretty pretty close. 7.75, almost, almost our usual eight overall. Let's look at value though. This is uh, four bucks, 20, no, no, 19. Regular M's is call it 39 bucks, 43 bucks, 89, 95. This is all 95 on the non-foils. 35 on the foils, cause uh, seven times five, just an estimate. 
We're already at 130. We get Grasp of Darkness, Radiant Flow, Angel, something? Hmm, I don't know, back to that later. So, uh, let's see, 136, Spoiled Skull, I'm not sure, it's nice, it's called 30 bucks. It's uh, Shadow Brute, it's gonna be big on Levia. So, 166, this is 16, I, I remember. 82, this is 95 bucks, so 182, 185, $275. We can easily call this a 6 out of 10, I'd say. 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Uh, leave it at 6, 6 out of 10. Hope my math is right. But yeah, that's about 275 bucks back. Not counting, there's you know value in the foils or stacks of foils. There's value in the play sets. You probably get a play set of rares and commons at least per box. But 275 on the big stuff. Sounds good to me. Let's see what else we can get. And if we can close this sucker out strong. Case number 20. All right, guys. Hey, we've got a very, very special but limited time giveaway just for these upcoming episodes. Yeah, thanks to Legendary Games Distribution. The new head distributor of Flesh and Blood in Asia Pacific. Yeah, they're hosting a great event in Taipei. Yep, they're yeah. calling in Taipei at the Breeze Center. That's like a really high-end shopping center. They've got like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Flesh and Blood. Yeah, we'll fit right in. We have a cool giveaway thanks to them. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give away not one, but two. Two. Fable packages. Fable packages, which are worth over 150 US dollars. Yeah, I think it's like 5,000 Taiwan, Taiwan Taiwan. Yeah. If you already purchased the package, you can buy something else on their stuff. Buy other stuff, cool. But there is one way one to way try to win. win. We want you to write the Fabled Hunters at fabledhunters at gmail.com. Write us an email about your plans on how you're going to take down the Taipei calling. Wait one second, yep. disclaimer. I'm gonna be there, so don't give me the deck tech. No deck techs, no, no secret don't, sauce. Don't write it, yeah, don't give us the sauce, but just like, tell us about how you're preparing for it and how you're- Your mental. Yeah, how you're ready to go in and kick some butt. Yeah, that's right. How you're gonna take scouts. And we're, we're gonna pick the two best submissions. Yep. We're gonna choose by October 2nd. So yep. by October 2nd, please send us your submissions and we will respond to you uh, as soon as possible on email. Fabledhunters at gmail.com. And if one of you win the crown of Providence, you better sell it to me. I'm just saying, that's not, that's not part of the game, but you know, still just saying. All right, good luck everybody. Thank you. Okay, we're all cleaned up for uh, our 20th and what was the last case? I don't think there was much to show because uh, there wasn't much pulled. Uh, my Herald theory is debunked because we got four Heralds. We have, uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23, 26 Majestics, and six Foil Majestics, 32, and even eight. So we, these are three bucks. What is it, 23 Majestics is like 35 bucks, 38 bucks, 46. 72, $102. Oh, we got four common cold foils. Ain't that amazing? Who needs, um, you know, marvels and legendaries when you've got this awesome angelic radiant flow? Just bask in uh, the radiant flow of an angel. That's great, right? Okay, so 102, 110 bucks. Let's call this like $113. I thought the one out of 10 was the absolute worst. This is like a zero out of 10. This, I didn't even know this was goddamn possible. I was gonna save this last case for a different time. It's a little beat up and all, it's supposed to be the lucky case, but I, 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 guess, I guess we gotta dig into it right now, cause this is, this is bullshit. All right, bonus case, case number 21. Pack number 17, Empyrean Rapture. Legendary Rainbow Foil, back to form. Let's get something. Not just the uh, Radiant Touch or the uh, elusive and uh, interesting, interesting Radiant Flow. The very bright, scintillating Radiant Flow. We have an Empyrean Rapture here. Uh-oh. Box two, pack seven. Likely Story, Bastion of Unity, Majestic Cold Foil. Feels like we get one of these every other case. It's just eerie how Maybe that's just the run, I don't know. Let's see. Whoa. Box three, pack three. Out of nowhere, I thought it was Rainbow Foil, but this is our first Cold Foil Iron Song Versus and a Starstruck. 
in the same pack. All right, I need to get sleeves and stuff. There's that one, but uh, let's just see the whole thing. Oh, that's pretty. That's got to be worth more than 38 bucks. You know, that's what the Rainbow Falls worth, so. Uh, it feels like a hit. Could still get better. Same box, box three. We're at pack six. Widespread ruin, finally. Man, after 21 cases, finally starting to get stuff going. This is how Dust Till Dawn cases should be. The full art, extended art. Oh man, finally. Let's keep it pushing. I shit you not. I totally shit you not. The very next pack. Literally, what is this, pack seven? Literally, it was, it was just that. The very next pack. We've got something in Marvel treatment. So, I don't know what it is. All right, we can handle this. We can do this, we can do this. What is it, what is it? It's a Themis, Archangel of Judgment. Gorgeous, very next pack. Oh my God, I don't have this one yet. This is beautiful. 006, Archangel of Judgment. Get the super hit in a sleeve. What a box. What a box. Oh, what can I say? Box three, last pack magic. The gift that keeps on giving. A crown of providence in the last pack. Legendary non-foil. Crown of providence. Man, that is, that is value. This box alone feels like it could pay for a whole case. My lord, this is beautiful. Okay, final box. Here we are. Eight packs in. Have a slithering shadow peed, majestic rainbow foil, and the decimator great axe. Cold foil majestic, or no, cold foil rare, but it's worth about 11 bucks. I think Dory's playing it, so that's good. Literally very next pack, pack nine, rainbow foil soulbound resolve with an EA Herald. Man, these, these packs are just coming in hot. All right, we've finally done it. This is the bonus case. We've completed it. I guess my Herald theory is completely debunked, but I will uh, probably need to go at it again from a larger sample size of cases. We have, what is it? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23, 26, non-foil majestics, seven full majestics, so that's 33, averaging over eight majestics. Six is like 450. Let's just, let's see, 450 plus 23, 35, let's call it $40, $48, $74 for all the non-foils. This is valuable because it's up there. Starstruck on Bravo is interesting, but we're just going to call this $35. So what is that? 109. We're at 109 bucks of value. This is two bucks, 111. This is 11 bucks, 122. This is about 60 bucks, 182, 192. This is literally like 10 bucks, 192. 252, this is a, let's call it 50 bucks. 302, this is $22, 324. I gotta say, this is probably 100 bucks. It's, it's a cold foil legendary. And this thing, Judgment. Uh, let's just say that it's safe to say this whole, this, this case is worth over 400 bucks and makes up for a lot of it. Man, before opening this case, I was just pissed. I needed to take a break, went and got some food, took a nap, went to the gym, still came back pissed. Thankfully, there's another case left because, you know, sometimes when we like to crack stuff, we're like heroin addicts. As long as there's, you know, any of the goods, you're going to consume it all. So that happened. I'm actually glad I did. I don't think I'll be making anything about the numbers because, I mean, I, I just don't think I had enough of a sample size. Uh, just like Stomping Ground, I had 10 cases total. And as you can see, the good is really good, the bad is really bad, but you need a larger sample size. So these 21 cases, I will make this standalone. I'm still considering it, but I, what I think I'm going to do is I am simply just going to get a pallet, commit to opening, well, line up all the serial numbers of the pallet and commit to opening, I don't know, half or all of it. But I'd like to ask the viewers how you, th how you thought this format worked out. And if, I mean, a pallet is 400, no, 200 cases, 800 boxes. 
if I'm going to try to make a record of a palette, what do you think works? Something like this, where it's like case by case, but you're looking at, I don't know, a minute or two of footage, there may be three to five minutes per case, or could I just hover over the final, talk about how it went, give the review, move on, next case, next case, next case, and do like 10 or 20 cases each? I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Um, I personally liked a lot of ups and downs, but of course it's up to the viewers. Just trying to share this experience. I don't know if within these past 24 plus hours or I uh, properly recorded this experience. I was just trying to document it so you could see it. You know, there's a lot of time opening packs, sorting cards, doing stuff after, sleeving even the extended foils, uh, or the extended art rares and the non-foil majestics and just organizing everything, organizing the foils that um, just take up valuable camera time and slow me down as well. So yeah, let me know. Uh, as for now, uh, I'm about an hour from uh, taking my lengthy international flight to uh, fly back to Taipei. Got some personal, medical and business uh, things to handle. So yeah, after this, let me know, because uh, by the time I'm flying back, um, I'll, I'll need new ideas for the next batch of content. Thanks again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, twiddle, twiddle that notification button, twiddle. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. We got a quick Patreon shout out for Miguel who helped uh, secure an extra allocation max buy of uh, the Rudy kits. I got two more diamonds. That's what I was in there for, trying to get some diamonds because diamonds are sick, diamond hands. First case came in with uh, eight, eight rainbow full majestics. Pretty cool. United We Stand was really cool. What else? Uh, let's see. Northern Winds. Widespread Annihilation. This always feels bad when you don't get the nice versions, but there seem to be a lot more regular versions than the EA versions. Sensor, Poison the Well. Will they ever get any play out of Poison the Well? Kind of a feels bad case. Uh, four. Rainbow fo uh, Four, sorry, Cold Foils. Radiant Flow. Flowing. Flowing radiantly, says Prism. Um, and two rares, two rares, okay. A uh, legendary rainbow foil, Diadem of Dream State, probably the worst rainbow foil, and actually a Leviah legendary. I uh, sometimes just uh, open on the down low because, you know, I, I don't only play a uh, pack cracking addict on TV. I actually have, you know, a uh, pack cracking gambling addiction. I'm able to admit it. The first step is uh, admission. Same thing again, well, it's widespread annihilation or sorry, widespread destruction on case two of the Rudy cases. Lumen Lance is awesome. So only five, but we got three cold foils, two of the same frontline plating, one Dance of Darkness, frontline plating's rare, Dance of Darkness is common cold foil. But wait, everybody, there's more. We have Leviah Redeemed again. So two Leviah Redeemed and two Rudy cases. That's still value. Get a box back just from a non-foil. All right, and then we also got a Marvel Angel, Figment of Tenacity, Metis, not a great one to dominate Angel, but still cool to get an Angel, and, and, and a full art cold foil dyadic carapace. So that's really awesome. Again, did it for the diamonds. Did it also doubly supporting Rudy's Magic Store. And thanks again for Patreon Miguel.